Hi guys, I'm back again. Uh, what I want to try to do is do a couple short videos because I'm limited to the amount of uh, bandwidth I can put on uh, YouTube on explaining what I use for my command center. What I have here is, uh, in the previous video you showed, I showed you how to hook up your Neon. Here uh, I'm going to show you some of the, uh, the devices I use for my command center and if you have any questions you can always uh, ask me. I can go into further detail and close-ups on wiring, but this will give it just a brief overview. Uh, starting from the center of the command center, what I have is the main speaker. This is uh, the, the speaker that I use that gets mounted right behind the neon when the whole center gets loaded into the torso. Uh, what I have is here is the second part of the uh, sound system that I use for the neon. You saw on the back of the neon plate I had the transformer. This is the, uh, the other part of the Tech, I believe, 8000 uh, or the, the sound controller. Uh, if you follow the schematic uh, that is located on the B9 Builders website, you will see that you're only using one wire, in this particular case the orange wire. I clipped the other wires and I'm not using them. The orange wire gets fed to the uh, transistor, which is I believe is tip 31. The transistor, like the diodes that we use on the neon, are used to help minimize uh, the uh, bleeding effect that you'll see through the neon when, it, uh, when the voice activates uh, the neon. So that's what it's, uh, it's there for, uh, to help doing. Uh, I put everything on terminal blocks, helps with my connectivity. Uh, all this requires is 12 volts. I get 12 volts basically from this relay. This relay is fed from an, uh, a single 12 volt uh, 7 amp gel cell battery. The neon and the whole control circuitry is run on its own battery. Because the neon can draw nearly 4 amps, uh, I decided to put it on its own battery. That way it's isolated and I can uh, uh, just worry about uh, all the other electronics. They have uh, another pair of gel cell batteries that are running off of the 24 volts off the main power. Going on, what we have is this is a light controller board from Tom Wisniewski. This uh, light controller board is, uh, you, you can use one for your B9 robot. I decided to use two. Uh, it's purely up to the builder, however you want to use it, uh, the way it's designed. Uh, according to Tom, you can use one. It'll control not only your belly lights, it will control your belly lights and your brain lights. I decided to use one controller board just for my belly lights and one controller board, you'll see later, just for my brain lights. I, I, I love the flexibility it gave me. So this is the, the front. We have, if we turn it around, what we have here is what I show is we have two small speakers mounted on either side of the command center. One here and here. These are speakers just out of an old PC. I use those in conjunction with, this is called a CF2 sound controller. It's a compact flash card reader that allows me to download sounds. In this particular case, this is the 96 meg compact flash. I configure the, the simple uh, files that it needs to see uh, onto the, uh, the compact flash and uh, by doing so with this particular one, when the host system is powered up, in the background it will run the mechanical clack sound that you hear through these side speakers. Uh, that, again, that's just merely in the background. The board you see up here is my uh, main power system that I use to run everything. What its job is to do is to take the 24 volts uh, main power fuse, fused power to this board. On this board I have individual regulators that basically takes the 24 volts in and gives me uh, regulated voltages at fixed of 12, minus 12, plus and minus 5 volts. I have a variable 2 volt to 22 volt regulator on there as well. So that gives me any type of voltages I want throughout my system here and I do in fact use all the voltages. I have a mounted Scorpion a motor controller. For those interested in uh, that, I'll be doing a little brief uh, video on how I connect up the Scorpion to control my torso drive. Uh, so that is basically part one of the command center. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know via email or in the comment sections on the video.